we are rich with human resource and certainly True. this is this is the way forward for people who might not have had some amazing education or probably not some amazing background i think what happened there was because i have a I have an example in the family that one of my cousins went to the UK, you know, he okay. went there to study, he completed his studies, then he wanted to stay back. Because it is, it is, you know, no matter what we say, it right. is a developed country. There are more multiple opportunities for people over there. And alhamdulillah, the livelihood is better. So imagine that even if somebody is going to work at a fast food shop, right. he will still be getting 10 pounds an hour, no matter True. what happens. But if you overstay and you certainly do not have a valid visa, that salary is going to come down to 6 pounds probably okay. an hour and people do take advantage of that not just that so whatever meager amount of money you make even if you have overstayed imagine the rest of amount of the money you're actually paying to a solicitor who actually came through a friend wasn't authorized and then eventually you end up spending thousands of pounds but still do not get that visa or immigration process through and you have to come back to pakistan so to avoid ye from all of this hassle ladies and gentlemen today we have an amazing guest over here inside the studios who actually happens to be somebody who is the solicitor of Supreme Court of England and Wales. He happens to be Mr. Zubair Rashid. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Good morning. How are you? Wa alaikum and very good morning to Pakistan. And um, thank you very much for having me here. And thank you very much for uh, right. flying all the way from England to uh, over here, Pakistan, but being on our show. It's right. wonderful to have you over here. But Shazad, we've seen that in general, there's a very hostile environment towards the migration. And the, uh, and then there's a debate about immigration and the refugees. And generally, the Western countries, they're very resistant towards uh, the migration because they say that they're obviously there's a right-wing sentiments around the Europe. So what's your take on that, especially on the hostility which a lot of people faces and how to uh, plan your, uh, what do you call the immigration status and how to go about it? Right. Immigration is a very sensitive issue in Western countries, especially in Europe and more particularly in England yeah. or Britain. Because remember, Britain is a small country. Right. Right. It has resources, but it has limited resources. When the whole Asia, when the whole world start to make their ways to the UK, the people get disturbed, yeah. right? <coughs> so that's why you always see in England, in Britain, time to time, there's always a criticism on the UK immigration policy, right? right? In the whole Europe, in the whole Europe, England is a, like a very favorite child where everybody wants to come in yeah. legal or illegal ways. Exactly. As a... He rightly said that in the beginning, when you are on a legal visa, on the right visa, you are fine. Yeah. But sooner you become an overstayer, right, you start to get exploited. True. That's why we are here to give the message to our Pakistani youth or to anybody coming to England, try to stay within your legal visa status. Yeah. Otherwise, Don't go you, beyond that. Yes. Otherwise, you end up spending thousands and thousands of pounds. For rest of your life could be up to 20 years true because that's how the law works in england might sound very uh, very very cruel but this is how things work over there you have to stay 20 years mm -hmm. or unless you have a child born there right. up to seven years then you can get sort of immigration status right. true. in terms of as you said that people uh, england or britain or europe has very hostile policy the reason is that mm -hmm. whenever there is a war Whenever there is a war torn country, hmm. they all expect to go to England, right. yes. whether it's Syria, whether it's Iraq, whether it's Afghanistan. But I think there was a lot of racism in those policies because they open heartedly accepted people from the Ukraine, while the same treatment was didn't was, uh, was meted out to the people <laughs> from Afghanistan, from Syria, from. But he's, know, he's not representing countries. the government. I mean, I, I think he's no. here to uh, kind of uh, offer a solution no, for people who are overseas. No, you very very. <laughs> interesting question yeah, yeah. and I think you come across to me more politician rather than this question is 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 highly asked or criticized in England yeah. True. why Ukrainians get more favorable treatment when it's come to refugees hmm. why not other countries yeah hmm. right so England has its take on it to be fair right. their home secretary has explained we can they said we are for everybody. When there was war in Iraq, when there was war in Afghanistan, right. when there was a war in Syria, right. or Libya, wherever, we always took the people on board. Yeah. So now this is the time for Ukraine. Even they took the people from Afghanistan, 
I think up to 25,000, that's yeah. what they promised. But not more than Pakistan. I think, you know, if we talk about refugees, I think Pakistan has a larger number of it. It's, it all depends on having a big heart. But we'll come come down to that. I agree on that yeah. as well. But we, I agree. But our, uh, you know, a point of discussion today yeah. is people who've overstayed, you know, yeah. people who are planning to go to England as well. And, you know, just answering what Hajar said, I believe that, you know, people over there, they're very safe, you know, so they would use their mouth to say whatever, but they will never use their hands. So I, I think whatever people have to say, you certainly do not have to bother about that because their country is very inclusive, first of all. I mean, imagine we just saw Rehan Ahmed playing, uh, representing England in the test series I as mean, well. That's, that's debatable. I, okay, okay, but we'll, we'll <laughs> talk about it. But now, sir, you know, for example, people who overstayed, I've seen yeah. that they waste a lot of money. When do you think that they need to realize that they're in, they're in denial and they really need to understand that, you know, nothing's going to happen with my immigration and that I need to save all the money I have and go back to my country. All right. This is a very good question. I definitely like to, like to explain in very detail. Sure. People think once they get into UK, there's a no world after that. Yeah. Right. Going to UK back in days or going to UK now, there's a lot of difference. It's a lot easier to get a visa for United Kingdom for England yeah. compared to back in England. Your youth is very educated. Your youth is more skillful. That's what England is needed. Yeah. There was a culture of going to England through illegal means. Right. That culture is almost or Over. is diminishing yeah. or right. is going down day by day okay. because UK have very